a normal vlog, which captures the last moments where a family is seen alive, a macabre call to the hunts the city, and even the man who switched bodies with the devil. And in this video, we will cover the channel The McKinley Family Home Videos and discover the mysteries behind it. And I'm Sir Chris. I explore the internet and I make videos about it. Let's go. The story begins with the channel that stores these recordings, McKinney Family Home Videos, where it all starts with a video of a father who was showing the new house into which he and his family were going to move in 1991. But before we continue, episodes ahead, there is a writing in which the name Dwayne appears, and I believe that is his real name. So, from now on, I will call him by that name. While Dwayne was showing his house, he ended up recording two alarming things. The protective screen of his window that was now on the ground, meaning that someone from the outside had to remove it to have an easier access to the house, and the doorbell from the previous owners that had been removed. Strange. But as the house had not been inhabited for a long time, Dwayne simply ignores it, as it is very common for abandoned houses to be invaded and used to hold parties. With that, he answers and continues his tour of the house, in which he reveals important characters. Jess, or Jessica, his wife, and Christy, one of his daughters. What was supposed to be just a normal vlog quickly turns into something more sinister, because while he's in a kitchen, he tells us that they need to start from zero because of what has been happening, in which he's interrupted by the ringing phone. During the call, we were able to understand through the dialogue that whoever was speaking to him was from the local church, who wanted to get to know more about the new faces in town. Dwayne takes the opportunity to say the person who recommended the church was his mother, in this case, the grandma of his kids, where at the end, the church gives him a warning to keep an eye out for something mysterious that has been happening and you will see what it is in a minute. And with the door to this mystery open, we move on to the second video, called Bible Study 1996. This video shows us a trip which was being taken by an unknown group, who according to the description, were Dwayne's friends. During the recording, the video is interrupted by posters of missing people, in which they all had tattoos of a cross on their left wrist. And the strangest thing is, that one of the victims was wearing shame. Interesting. During the night, they end up walking towards a small museum in Virginia that actually exists called the Past House. A house where people with contagious diseases were isolated during the Civil War in the 19th century. And this trip ends with messages condemning someone. We trusted you, heaven is not yours. While the camera points to a church and the last poster appears along with the last sentence. You are not welcome here. The third video is called the third grade graduation 1994. It shows us the interior of a school where Dwayne's daughter most likely frequented. After several shots, more messages appear, saying that he begged someone not to answer or the devil would respond, which then shows us the recording of the ground as we hear someone stabbing a body while a child cries, and verses from the Bible are cited. Daughter Babylon, doomed to destruction. Happy is the one who repays you according to what you have done to us. Happy is the one who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. From here, we realize this is the work of a satanic cult. Because for those who don't know, Babylon in the Bible symbolizes evil. And before it ends, a photo of a teenager appears, who I believe is Dwayne's second and last daughter. Slowly, the pieces are making more sense. The fourth video is called Grandma's House, 1995, and is the quickest one to explain. It shows several photos of Dwayne's mother hold house, where at the end, more sentences appear saying that the screams don't stop and that the house is her body and blood, which is not enough. While the screams of burning people appear in the background, and the description tells us she laughed at us. The fifth is called Christy Baptism, 1993, which coincidentally was the year the three victims disappeared. In the video, we see Dwayne driving to a church in the middle of a forest that was now falling apart. As he walks inside that same church, some phrases appear in what appears to be phrases spoken by a child. Who is there? I can't talk to strangers. Which easily goes along with what is written in the description. My children are missing. And this video ends with the heartbreaking messages. He's hurting me. I've been made pure. I have seen God. I want to go home. 
Twain's daughters are no longer alive. With that, we move on to the sixth video, called Scare Mare 1995. But first, I have to explain to you what a Scare Mare is, which in short, is a type of haunted house focused on trying to replicate hell so that people are more scared of going there. But these people had other intentions. Where after setting it up, Dwayne ends up being the first victim of that attraction, and thus, goes through that same route twice. In which on the third time, we now see the route without the effects and lights. In which, it shows us a kind of ritual with a macabre mannequin attached to it. Which then moves on to the messages about Dwayne turning him into an angel, and he was now the devil. In which, we only have the description to help us connect the dots. Can't get out. The seventh video is called Jessica Homecoming 1998, and it really answers several questions. It begins with a few verses of the Bible in the voice of the former member who was stabbing the body, which after the scream, we now can see a vision of someone in the darkness who slowly advances towards Dwayne's new house, more specifically towards the kitchen door, and upon entering and walking inside, the following appears. Do you see it? Do you hear it? Was it worth it? They're rotting, and it's your fault. Hollow apologies. What you will do? Can you forgive yourself? That quickly cuts to the view of the invader, now in the basement, while he hears movements upstairs. And upon entering the door, we can hear desperate cries. With that last message, we see Jessica in a rough condition, walking into the forest, which cuts to the vision of a corpse being dragged, only to be the bird. With this disgusting sound, we move on to the hate video called Blank, which begins with the text of a conversation between a man and a child, which, due to the answers, we can deduce what the child responded. During the conversation, he asks about her family and if she had friends, which after that shows us a drawing with three women whose characteristics correspond to two of the three victims who disappeared. And it also quickly goes through several images of the family members. In Jessica's, we can hear her chilling cries. In the daughter's, we can see her crumpled face and her grandma, who is drawn like some kind of demon. With many questions but few answers, we move on to the last video, Family Vacation 1990. It starts again with a few shots, before showing us inside of a new house. Upon seeing the interior of the rooms, Dwayne eventually points to one of the doors, on which the next messages appear. I can help you. I can save you. The only way out is to burn. With a snap of a finger, the vision of someone inside of an underground tunnel appears, while we can hear someone begging for help. You lied. You are not you anymore. Which, this strangely could be connected with the video of the grandmother's house in which we can hear people being burnt alive, in which it ends with more disturbing shots. Personally, I think it's the vision of Dwayne, who is now inside of that old mannequin in the scare mirror, and it all ends with the following statement. The devil made me do it. The McKinney family home videos wants to shoot us the vision of a man, Dwayne, who slowly loses control of his life, because of an encounter he had with the devil in 1990. In 1991, Dwayne and his family ended up moving to a new house due to what had happened, which until now remains a mystery. In that same video, we can hear the church warning Dwayne about something, which, as we can see in later episodes, was a satanic cult that was disturbing the city. This cult ended up invading Dwayne's new house, as they already know the house plan. Or, to be more disturbing, the same cult had already attacked the previous owners, making them leave that house. But in 1993, five people ended up disappearing. Jessica, who is still questionable whether she died or not, along with her two children who died, and two more unknown victims. I believe they were kidnapped by this cult to be used in a satanic ritual. And with that, Dwayne starts visiting the old places he went with them, hoping to find them, but without success. In 1995, Dwayne ends up visiting a scare mirror. From a frightening experience, it turned into a desperate situation because little did he know 
that it had been set up so that the victim could swap bodies with the devil that was inside a mannequin created by the cult. Dwayne's empty body is used by the devil so that he can cause terror in the city. This is my theory, but there are still some loose pieces. Like, the question if Dwayne's mother was the leader of the cult or if she was one of the victims, since she is drawn by Dwayne's daughter as a demon, even though she is a religious person. Why was her house burned? Were the victims members of that same church we called Dwayne? And what will become of the rest of the town? Only time will tell.